about his rave and that really is the way we get to hear about it. Is it different now than what it was in the past? It's a lot different now because of the situation, how it's become. Uh, I mean like the raves ain't as freely going on as what they used to be like six months ago. So there's been a, like, a dramatic change? There's been a dramatic it? change. I mean there's been a massive clamp down on the rave scene at the moment and uh, it's going to be really difficult to sort of like project the future of it all. Which is a sad, sad thing. What do you think the future is? What the sorry, can I just look? Do you mind not looking at the camera? Can yeah. I look at the camera? Yeah, look at yeah. it. Alright. That's cool. Yeah. Right. How do you think, like, the scene now, how, what do you predict it to be? Well, I, can, I mean, in about six months' time, I can see it really going underground, especially for those people who haven't got a license. I mean, if I was a club runner, or if I was a big promoter who wanted to put on a massive rave holding 10,000 people, I'd look straight away about doing six years inside first of all and having my assets seized. So I can really see like the actual club scene, the big acid scene going back to the club scene, people hiring out the clubs, like big clubs what can hold a few thousand people yeah. and trying to hold legal events in that kind of way. How do people get to these raves, do you know? There's all sorts of ways these people get to the roads. <laughs> I mean, the majority, I'd say 99.9% .9 of people will buy the ticket and uh, phone up the phone line and they'll make their way from there. Mm. Going back to buying tickets, do they, do you find more people are buying the tickets now? Or, or uh, not? No, nah, it's, sl it's, it's slowed right down now. It's slowed right down now. I mean, like, let's take, for example, six months ago. I mean, a big rave like Energy Biology or Sunrise mm. would be on, and the shop would be absolutely packed with just people wanting to buy tickets or finding out yeah. what the hell's going on. But I mean, the situation now, I mean, there's a big clamp down on the scene, and there's not so many people coming in looking for raves or buying tickets. Mm -hmm. Especially, I've, I mean, people have been, I mean, a lot of people have taken the piss out of the ordinary punter. 
by charging X amount and then them finding themselves running all over Blinden, England looking for the, a particular rave, getting to a rave at five o'clock in the morning, which is really no good to anyone. No. Mm. How do you think raves are different than clubs? What's the difference between a rave and a well, club? The difference between a rave and a club, I mean, in a club you're restricted. You've got to do as the people tell you to do or you've got to uh, abide by the laws of a club. Mm. Whereas a rave, there's really a lot less restriction than most normal clubs. I mean, a big rave, you can never be, it's, it's really hard to secure a big rave I, with, uh, the, with the bouncers making sure that everybody's doing what they should be doing. It's, it's, absolute, it's like absolutely impossible. But the great thing about the big raves, I mean, there's more freedom. I mean, out, outdoors, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic mm. buzz. I mean, the first, the first kind of six months of the acid scene, I mean, I was going to every club, every rave, because it was just a buzz which I was getting out of it. It's yeah. absolutely great. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, a club, a club atmosphere can't match a rave atmosphere. It's mm. two completely different things. Do you think that the police... Um, pres- Answer the phone! Do you think the police Sorry. presence aggravates situations at these parties? Yeah, the police presence, it, it does aggravate. I mean, it's a, it's a two-way thing like everything else. I mean, if the police came together with the actual guys who promote these raves, mm. I'm pretty sure they could build up a happy medium and everything could run really well, you know. Which I've seen, in, I've seen happen in the past. I've been to raves where there's been at least fifteen thousand people, and I haven't seen not one person get hurt, and I've seen not one fight, not one scuffle. Uh, you know, people just can't. The people in the press and the big people in the media, they just can't handle it. They don't understand what's really going on, mm. and they don't understand kids. It's as simple as that. What about all the hype with all the media and the, and like the film coverage on these events? What do you think of that? Uh, the hype from the media, I mean like a lot of the hype you'll find it'll be concentrated around certain papers or certain magazines or whatever or certain programmes. Mm. But a lot of the people who actually do these interviews or whatever, I mean they're talking a lot of bollocks because they don't really go down in depth to actually find out or actually go to these raves themselves and build up some mm. kind of you know, assumption in their mind of to what a rave actually is. There's no point just sort of like looking at 15,000 people and thinking, trouble, trouble. Mm. Or this woman comes from nowhere and says, God, my Neil, you know, she suffered from taking the E-tab which was given to her by loads of pushers at this rave. It's, you know, it's total crap. Mm. I mean, some of it's true, but the majority of it isn't. Mm. What's your, what about going to the drug aspect of these? The drug aspect is, I mean, The drug thing has been going on for years. It's Mm. been going on way before even you or me were born. I mean, there's always been drugs related to clubs. There's always been drugs related to big raves. Even from the mod days to what? To the Beatles days, things like Woodstock, things like that. I mean, it just wasn't, it it just didn't grab as much attention as what's been grabbed through the acid scene, especially because the people being so young as well. Mm. But then again, the people used to go to places like Woodstock and to the big mod, you know, gatherings and things like that. I mean, you know, they're just as young as the people who go to the raves now. So I can't really understand why is there a need for such hype on the issue because yeah. I find it to be, you know, totally ridiculous. Really, I feel that there should be enough in a in a in a country like England. It, it should be it should be okay to sort of like get together with the people of power, like the police, the council. Tell them you're going to be putting on a rave. Tell them that you're going to clean up. You're going to get St. John's Ambulance down there and everything else mm. to make sure that if anything happens, which shouldn't have happened, it Legal. can be, you know, it can be sorted out then and there. Yeah. Do you think, I mean, we know what the, the government and like, the authorities are doing to stop these events taking mm. place. Are there, what's the, the public or the organisers doing to fight that? Well, the organisers have been caught into a, a bit of a catch-22 situation. I mean, mm. like, I know of organisers who have gone flat out, who have invested a hell of a lot of money, and they've got police permission, they've got permission from the council and the local authorities, then to find out that the do they're doing is somehow or another illegal. Mm. How do you beat that? Mm, you can't. You can't. Basically, you just got to do what they tell you to do, and you've got to try and fit into that kind of bracket. But it's very, very difficult. It's a catch-22 situation. Who wants to invest a load of money and someone telling them that it's legal 
mm. and when they come to put on the event it's not legal it, it, it doesn't make sense yeah what's the response been um to the house campaigns like the freedom party mm. uh, well, do you think do you think they're good ideas to it's great ideas you know to build up some kind of committee to fight against it all you know and to prove your point and everything else but I haven't heard anything I haven't heard no good sort of like mm. positive kind of like feedback coming back I haven't heard nothing so do you think they're going to work do you, think the go- do you think the government's just going to carry on and I can't not matter what I can't see it. I mean the government the government are going to set out laws which we're going to have to follow or not me in particular but people who want to promote big raids and mm. everything else. The government are going to make laws and people are going to have to abide by those laws. And I can see by next year or by next summer, the government actually giving out licenses to certain people, mm. maybe to one of their own people, who knows. But uh, they're going to make it and they're going to show it so it's pretty obvious that they've given somebody a license and they're going to show a raid, mm. which is made, you know, supposed to look successful. Yeah. To prove to people and to prove to the big promoters that look, people are following in our laws and they're doing it correctly. But you know what mm. is correct? That's right. It's their game. It's their rules. You know, and we've got to play by them. That's the only problem with it. I mean, we've had two years of freedom, and that two years of freedom, I mean, no one has seen so many kids out and having so much fun. It was, I mean, two years ago, you couldn't come down to the West End and see so many kids hanging around. Shops like at Black Market, our shop, shops like MASH, other record shops, other clothes shops, all the little shops which have been springing up in the past year. Mm. I mean, that market wasn't there before. I mean, the house acid kind of scene, um, it's created its own market. Its own and the market is absolutely massive. Mm. You know, these people mm. are looking for somewhere to go. They want somewhere to go. Mm. Let's find them somewhere to go. Good point. <laughs> What else? Um, <laughs> ready? Two yeah. animals, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're, when you're ready, yeah, Where does Acid House come from? Acid House, I mean, a lot of people will have their own opinion of where Acid House actually comes from. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I've been buying music for a hell of a long time and I used to DJ before. And it, it's really just a progression of dance music. Um, uh, house especially started off from like the early disco disco era and from disco it's transformed its way into house music acid house now another another term for the music mm. i mean acid house really was created over here in london mm. um acid house it was just like mad mental music anything which was really sort of like freaky and really jumpy to really get you going they labeled it as being acid house anything with a funny wow 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 wow, wow. <laughs> And yeah. Acid House really became, th- that's how Acid House, in my opinion, mm. started. It started from London. I mean, a lot of people, say especially in the States, like will say, like yeah, well, Chicago, right? man, we invented house music ages ago, but, you know, I wouldn't want anyone to believe that because that simply isn't true. They made music over there which happened to fit into what we were doing, but they didn't realise it at the time because their music wasn't even, their so-called house acid music wasn't even selling in the States. It wasn't even selling in places where it actually came from. I mean, the first example of um, Acid House was like Trax Records. Mm. And Trax Records started started off from like a little garage and they used recycled plastic because they couldn't actually afford to, you know, to churn the sort of music which they had coming out. Mm. And it just so happened that the music which they were making, a 120 beat with loads of noises and all sorts of things going through the record, was j- it just it just fell nice into our club scene, and we labelled it Acid House with all the smileys and everything else. So it really started from London. Mm. Right. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we go? You're a bunch of fucking wankers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>